Grass. I'm commentating tonight with former world super featherweight champion Barry Jones. And on paper, this one, Barry, well, we saw the tail of the tape for the two fighters physically. Very, very similar in size, similar records as well. And on paper, this has the makings of a very good fight. Oh, it's a fantastic matchup, isn't it? Really is two unbeaten prospects and vying for the right to fight for the British title. And Saunders coming out already, swinging that right hand over the top. Oh, no messing around here. Lovely little fast combination there from Lewis. Both come up really sharp. Stephen Lewis from the Paul Stevenson, Mick Stevenson Red Triangle Gym in Liverpool. Jeff Saunders with Mark McGuinness, who he's been with throughout his career. Former ABA welterweight champion. Stephen Lewis, a former junior ABA champion as well. They've both got good records. And of course, Jeff, the younger brother of the 2008 Olympian Bradley Saunders, who I gather is going to be coming back before too long. Yeah, he's a really bad hand job, hasn't he, Bradley? Hope to see him back soon, but Jeff making ways himself, and this is the big test. Oh, lovely little, especially the double left hand there from Saunders, pushing pushing Lewis back. And it's, I think it's, that's, that's the key for Saunders, those surprise attacks when he jumps into the attacks. Push Lewis back, I think you know, the pace slows a little bit, it might suit Lewis just a little bit better. Got Jeff. Is in Jeff's corner as well. There's a nice right hand from Saunders. A lot of support for him as well. Come up from Sedgefield in County Durham. Yeah, Jeff and his mum Tracy together. They run the gym. And he was along yeah. there. Went in there at the age of nine, and he's kind of been his life ever since. And looking like he made the right choice as well. That's good work there from Saunders. When he won his ABA title in 2013, he was actually in the army at that time, Jeff Saunders. He was a para. A little bit too far away to throw that looping right hand and that to pay the price for the show. Little left hook from Lewis. Just the hint that Lewis might be naturally slightly the bigger guy. And it's interesting he didn't actually make the 10 stone yeah. for the... Uh, for the Super lightweight division. He couldn't make it yesterday. He weighed in at 10 stone two. Well, he looks slightly the bigger, but I, I think the strength just favours Saunders. It looks at this point. Yeah, maybe early on. Maybe early days yet. Of course, it's scheduled to be a 10 rounder this one. You can already see the pattern. I think Saunders needs to keep it at a fast pace. Oh, lovely. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good work. He's looking sharp. Stephen Lewis at the Red Triangle Gym. Jeff Saunders treat, trains at a gym in Fishburn, which is about a mile away from the village where he lives. Fair few fighters as well from that part of the world. It's good there from Lewis. Oh, just backing up Saun Saunders. So closing seconds of the opening round. I thought uh, Saunders settled to his work pretty well there. Weight in the shots, that was snapping the punch, especially as the round went on. I think so that's, that's the key for Lewis is that long jab. I just think he lost a little bit of he took a few decent shots off Saunders and just lost a little bit of confidence in the jab. Just needs to re, re establish that those, and slow the pace down with that left hand. Those watching in from the Durham area will want to know that Joe Mafosa has had a, a point to win earlier on, beating Craig Derbyshire. Looked very sharp as well, didn't he? He did, he looks a good little fighter, yeah, he doesn't he? really he does. Took the distance, but I mean, Craig's no mug, he's no, a, a central area champion. Good win for Troy Williamson as well over Miguel Aguilar. And Michael Watson making his pro debut. He got the <laughs> punch that he wanted, didn't he? A big right hand. <laughs> and that was it. Good night, Vienna, for Histo Yonev. Good start again from, in this round from Saunders. There's a little bit of a little burst back there from Lewis, but a good, it's been a Good start so far in the second round. Saunders going to the body well, just a little bit sharper with the shots. It's a little bit more weight in the punches. Doesn't want to get wild like that though. Lewis has got fast feet, he'll move out of distance, make you pay for those mistakes.
Yeah, good jab from Lewis for them. Doesn't move away quick enough and takes a right hand off Saunders. Stephen Lewis's career since he turned over in 2012 has been blighted with injuries which have sort of made his career a stuttering progress so far. It must have been immensely frustrating for him. His current corner getting a bit excited there as he managed to... Just wrong foot Saunders and get him with a right hand. Lovely jab as well there from Lewis. Yeah, he's a talent. It's been frustrating when injured GBO because he is a talent. He's got plenty of skill, plenty of grit as well. Only had one fight this year. He just stopped using the jab again, Lewis. And that's just allowing Saunders to get a little bit close to jumping in with those attacks. Yeah, he's just busier, isn't he? Yeah. Little clubbing punches and maybe that maybe there is quality coming from Lewis when he does land, but he's just being outworked to touch. Quality there from Saunders as well, throwing a left hook as he was moving back. Still a bit of weight on the punch as well. Solid right hook to the body from Lewis. Oh, in with the head there, Lewis. Referee Phil Edwards, what's happening right in front of him. He needs to be <laughs> keeping a close watch on that. Clever as well from Saunders there, holding with the with the left hand on the blind side of the referee. So second round over. Saunders doing enough? I think so, yeah. It's really, I think he has, and I think... No, the fact that he's, he's allowing Saunders to walk up on him a little bit is what, what edging some of these wrongs, in my opinion, to Saunders. But they are close, so there's nothing in it. Judges sitting, making their decisions oh, on this one. Lovely uppercut there from Saunders. Beautiful shot. Steve Gray, Marcus McDonald, and Dave Paris, the men doing the scoring. Nice body shot from Lewis. I think he took the wrong route though. I think that should have been a right hand over the top. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Just think the, the left hand was just a little bit low there from Saunders. See, there's them sort of moments there, but even if he just flicks the jab, even if it's a flicking jab. Just to keep Saunders, no, just look at, thinking about defence rather than attack. Because when he gets to that a little bit closer, he can let those hands go as we just see in there again. Only Saunders' 12th professional fight. Looking for the uppercut there, Saunders didn't find the target. Yeah, it's not a lot of success rate, is there really, from either fighter? British champion, of course, is Jack Catterall at the moment after defeating Tyrone Nurse in Leeds recently, but very real possibility that Jack could be moving on, concentrating on fights at. <laughs> world level so the winner of this could well if jack decides to do that i mean there's a few ifs here but he could be facing the winner of josh leather and glenn foot which is the northeast battle a little bit later on to be honest like with every weight at the minute there's a queue of, of good fighters waiting to get their shot a lot, of, really is. a lot of talent in british boxing at the moment i know it's a kind of an overworked thing in some oh, quarters geez. but it you, you don't you really don't have to overhype British boxing at the moment because it stands on its own yeah, merits. It's going really... so well. And fights like this where unbeaten prospects are fighting for for no title but the chance to fight for a title it sort of brings back your encouragement, your, 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 your love for the sport again, where it's not all about just 
getting some shiny new belt that doesn't mean a lot this is about the win, wanting to win a real title and, and build and build your your profile so the impression again there that Saunders just about managed to get the better of that exchange yeah but just before that i think lewis had a nice little exchange and pushing saunders back so, so closing stages of the fourth round I favoured Lewis that time in that role. I think the, the combination before that and a, a bit of the work where nothing much is happening, but he was pushing Saunders around the ring. At this stage, here's some of the action from the fourth. Little sneak uppercut inside from Saunders. That's right at the beginning of the round, that wasn't it? From That's how Barry's got it. By like two rounds for Jeff Saunders. For the British title. And it's well, scheduled to go ten rounds should it go the distance. Neither of these lads shipping too much damage as yet. No, but well, technical, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And neither, neither of them wants to make a mistake because they know the, 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 the other guy facing them is, is sharp enough to make him pay for that mistake. So they both wait trying to draw the lead of each other. Respectful. Yeah. But I still think that sort of game might suit Saunders, but I think it has ever so slightly, not by much. Oh, lovely right hand. Here from Jeff Saunders. See Josh Warrington's father and dad, Sean O'Hagan, over on the far side of the ring. Good right hand from Saunders, but Lewis taking it well and stepping inside. Again, Saunders just getting off first, and that's what's giving him the, a little bit more of the advantage. But Lewis is waiting to try and draw the lead, but he's not doing. When he does draw the lead, he, he gets caught. He's not moving back or trying to, you know, trying to dip like he did there and, and come back with something. He's sort of blocking the shots or, or having to take them. So he needs to lead off first. It's a bit quicker on his feet, isn't he, Saunders? Yeah, I think no. It, it, Lewis is neater, so you tend to think he'd be a little, little, keeping his shape a little bit better. But so yeah, Saunders is faster on his feet, jumps in from a little bit further out, so you don't maybe expect. The punches to hit the target. Again, that's good. And again, I've said this from earlier on. So those little darting punches where he jumps in from out of distance, they sort of stick in your mind, don't they? Come the end of the round, and that's where these close rounds you just edge Saunders. And Lewis just needs to be a little bit more active now, letting his hands go, and keep the punches long, keep them straight, keep that distance. I think he's got the longer reach. And just that, you know, throwing them in the three straight punches, keep them nice and straight. So a little bit more Saunders did there, actually, and for Lewis to do the same thing. Struggling to get off in this round, isn't he, Lewis? He really is. He's just walking around the ring following him and not really delivering too much at all. Well, so far, this is the clearest round for anyone, and it's for Saunders right now. Not doing any real damage, is he? But he's just no, busier. To get to get the points, and he's happy to to give to give ground to Lewis because he's he's been able to count him effectively because Lewis is not willing to let that left hand go. A again, solid right hand from Saunders. Last scoring punch of the round. And the Lewis camp, if the judges are seeing it as we're doing, they've got some problems and they're going to have to start solving them pretty soon.
It's a close fight, they're going in a clear lead. Stephen Lewis needs to start landing more scoring shots as we move now into the second half of the fight. Well, I understand Lewis is taking the centre of the ring and he is making Saunders move and, and throw, but it, I don't think the pressure has been intense enough to make Saunders throw uncomfortable when he, you know, all the, all the, all the feet and all the pressure. He's still doing all the throw when he feels like it. So. And for all this, all the, the blocking and you know taking over in the second half, I think you have to make the fighter work hard in the early in the early rounds for that to pay three dividends. So yeah, he felt that there. I think Sean uh, Lewis left up to the temple there from Saunders, and again, it, oh, Saunders' all the success is when he leaps into punches. A bit unorthodox. Yeah, it looks, un it looks unorthodox, doesn't he? But he, he does land with them. He's surprisingly accurate and he's in and out then with that right yeah. hand it's funny because i thought the footwork of lewis would have been more effective in, in this fight that's good for lewis though well, that's better he needs more of that supporters buoyed a little bit by that left hand from stephen lewis Saunders warned for turning his back on Lewis that time. It's better from Lewis, cutting the ring off, but he needs to let his punches yeah, go. That's right, yeah, he got him in a good position there, throwing a left hook, just making him stop the movement. Didn't let his hands go. Good. Main man of the British Boxing Board of Control, Mr. Giles, Charlie Giles, at ringside as ever. He was telling me that one of our outstanding referees of recent years. It's good there from the lovely jab. Why aren't you using that more? There is solid jab again there from Lewis. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing so far to suggest that Saunders has got into any sort of real trouble, though, with anything that Lewis has delivered. And Lewis is going to have to put some big rounds together here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, good right hand there from that. Like that. that. His best little flurry for some time, Stephen Lewis. He's put Saunders under pressure in this round, I've got to be honest, John. Especially with the feet. First time I've seen Saunders just a little... ...around the Lewis there, for me. Seventh round of this ten rounder, eliminated for the British Super Lightweight title. Light middleweight for those who are still confused by the definition. Like Barry, like welterweight, John. What did I say? <laughs> like like welterweight. Like sorry. Like said, yeah. Yeah. I'm, con I'm the one confused. It's, it's ten stone. It's age for you, I know. <laughs> and it's punches for you. <laughs> Another ticking off for uh, Stephen Lewis from referee Phil Edwards. 
No, it's no knockdown. <laughs> Slip as he's caught off balance. Got to keep building on that, that success he had at the end of the round, Lewis. It's better from Lewis again. The signs that he's finding the range a little bit more effectively now. He's Maybe a Saunders tyres slightly. Yeah, and he's willing to pull the trigger now, isn't he? He's let his hands go. I wouldn't say he's crazily let his hands go, but he's starting to put the combination together where he was. Maybe I'm not willing to do that in the earlier rounds. Starting to see those flashy golden gloves landing a little bit more regularly. Bit of a labour with that right hand there, Saunders, for the first time. It's been his, good, his best shot in the fight, but he missed clearly, didn't he, with that one? Tiring, or maybe just the... Maybe just... Perhaps that's, uh, perhaps that's not giving enough credit to Stephen Lewis, who's put him upped his game. He's put him in the pressure in the last few rounds, especially with the, fit, the footwork. But, it, but he was doing that in the early rounds, but he wasn't, there was no real commitment to it, because he wasn't letting his hands go, he wasn't enough, enough intense pressure, but the last few rounds have been. Seventh round, and it could still be in the balance. Barry's got it 4-2 in the man from the northeast's favour, Jeff. Saunders and it's a good round so far for Lewis indeed so the the gap is narrowing again Saunders is in, in, the, in no trouble right now it's not gonna carry the way but he just and Lewis to be fair still looks strong still you know, working away more than he has in the previous rounds good jab though there from Saunders and a better right hand there back from Lewis that's good and a little bit of elbow as well I think So closing stages of the seventh round where Lewis has kept the pressure on Saunders. Done enough to win it? Oh, most definitely. I think, yeah, solid round there for Lewis. There's a good bit of work <laughs> from uh, Saunders and the... Features of Stephen Lewis just marking up a little. It's always likely to be. I saw somebody from Boxing News quoted saying that he thought this could be the fight of the weekend, one he was really looking forward to. Good trade fight. Yeah, no, I thought as well. I don't think it's, it's actually been that sort of fight, but it's been intriguing. But I don't think it's, it's, it haven't quite caught fire. They've no. Been, well, they both respect each other's ability, so they're afraid. And there's a lot on stake as well. They've an undefeated records, a chance to fight for the British title. So neither one wanted to take any silly risks. But uh, it's been a an interesting fight. Well, it's, it's getting exciting. It's getting to the stage now with three rounds remaining, where risks will have to be taken, and they're going to have to go toe to toe at some stage. Well, it's, especially those early rounds, John. I think you know, especially the, the, for me. Two, three, and four. Those rounds there were, were ex extremely close. So you, know, you can't be sure how they were going to go. So you know, you're going to think neither one to be sure how close. Or, 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 and they, they both think they're winning the fight, but they won't be certain. And there won't, won't be any confidence that you're winning by a few rounds. Good right hand from Lewis. He looks the stronger of the two all of a sudden. He does. Totally in the first round, even Saunders who looked at you have more physical strength. But you mentioned the size, John. Struggling to make the weight looks it looks physically bigger than me, and maybe that's proven right proving the case right now. Saunders always super fit, and I must confess, I thought that you know he would be strong down the stretch, but you can only see from these exchanges the power shots unquestionably now are coming from Stephen Lewis. Yeah, he's digging in, he's digging in, isn't he? He's digging those who's toes into the canvas when he throws the left hook. But he's, 
Oh, good body shot there from Lewis. Yeah. To be fair, from about round four, he's, he's taken the centre of the ring, Lewis, and tried to push Saunders around. The, the pressure wasn't that effective in the early rounds, but it has been the last three or four. I thought Lewis was allowing Saunders to nick rounds earlier on, and it's just a question of whether or not he's done enough to be narrowing the gap now. But it was better, then, better from Lewis. It was them sort of attacks from Saunders that, that Lewis was struggling with, because he wasn't using the jab, but now he's starting to... I think the cleaner work, a bit, of a sense, work. bit of a sense that he's starting to walk through him here, Barry. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he's in any, any real worry right now, but yeah, he's um, not being as effective. Maybe all that jumping into attacks takes a lot out of you, John, you know, using the legs, pushing off. Well, he does have that jack in the box style, doesn't he? What Brandon Ingle used to call herky jerky, is it? <laughs> yeah. Referee trying to see if they could fight their way out of that break, but uh, out of that clinch, but unable to do so. And again, it's not the most tidiest of rounds, and, and, and still very, very close. So you're looking for those standout punches just to sway you. Oh, good right hand there from Lewis. Oh, it's another tight one. And uh, but for me, John, another one for Lewis. I've given the last three on the spin. I think. You That there's the greater buzz maybe just in the scouse corner they perhaps feel that it's starting to go their way a bit well because because he's won the last few rounds that's why and he's come on strong the last few rounds but that you know it's a 10 round fight it's not about just winning the last no. few rounds obviously you know if, if, if some of those early rounds all went in the favor of saunders then he still has a lot to do they both got to go and win the next, next two rounds that, that's for certain saunders might have enough still in the tank to produce a big late rally and put the pressure on as he was doing in the early stages. Just lost a bit of accuracy with that right hand, that right hand counter, hasn't he, Saunders? A lot of these punches are going in on arms now. Little heads clashing there. Lewis does have a tendency to mark up, but I don't think any damage done there, although they did look as though those had clash. You've got that, that bone structure, hasn't he, all around his yeah, eyes? very much so. Oh, a lovely jab, and again there from Saunders, and a right hand. Well, that's better, that's what he needed. Yep. And that's what was, for me, that's what was nicking him the, those earlier... Rounds. I don't think either of them's been in serious no. trouble, I think. The impression Lewis was maybe just stunned by that one headshot earlier in the in the fight that landed on his temple but yeah. I, I don't think that Lewis I don't think Saunders at any stage has been in big trouble no punch upon hasn't really been a factor good left hand there from from Lewis this is where Lewis has to work well he's got to let him go now because there's only 50 seconds left it's been a good round for Saunders for me good body shot though there from Stephen Lewis Saunders effectively tying him up so he can't really follow it up now can he make some space? I think he's done well, so it's going to look like the momentum was all swinging in the favour of Lewis. The second half of the fight, I think he had a big round in the last round, and he's having a pretty good round in, in, in this last and most important round. Well, maybe he's been smart enough to conserve a bit of energy for these last two rounds, which may well have clinched it for him. Nice little right hand over the top there from Lewis just a second ago. But again, not, willing, not letting his hand there, that's, it. that's what he needs to do. Now he goes to work. But is it just a little bit too late as we come towards the final bell? And there it is. Both these lads will think that they've won that one. On Barry's card, Jeff Saunders is just doing enough to edge it. Yeah, I, just give, it, I give him the last try. I give Saunders the last two rounds here. A lot of those rounds very, very close. And, but I think that round was, a, was a, a clear round for Saunders when he needed it the most. They got it 6-4, 6-4 six, four, six, four yeah, to Saunders. Yeah, it's been tight. I think those, uh, for me, it all goes on to the second, third and fourth round, where I found them extreme, uh, all the Hawks had hard to score. They were extremely hard to score, give a different scorecard. But for me, I just think that an orthodox approach to that and in with the combination from Saunders in the early part of the fight, maybe was enough. He's an orthodox, he's very effective, is Saunders, had the read, and I think... 
the lack of jab in the early in the early fight effort from Stephen Lewis, maybe giving Saunders the edge up to the halfway point, but then Lewis that let his hands go with combinations. No more committed with the jab. He was taking the centre ring, pushing Saunders back. It looked like he was going to start. He had a good momentum in his in, in his work. Look, he was going to do, like run riot in the last five rounds. I think Saunders pulled him out the bag in the last two. He had to deep deep, didn't he? Bit on his gum shield and found that little bit extra resolve in the last couple of rounds, and possibly it's carried him home. They're not too sure. I don't think Saunders is too sure either, in all honesty. But you, you can tell these two at this stage of their career, they could fight. They fight tomorrow, and it'll be a different result. I'm sure. You know, it, it, it's very, very tight. Saunders. Thank And he certainly thinks that he's done enough to win this one. Referee Phil Edwards drawing the two men together. And we're about to find out how the judges have scored this one. Mark Burdis is poised, and once uh, Stephen Lewis gets his gloves off and joins them centering, we can find out how they've scored it. Right, I think everybody's ready now. Let's see if Saunders or Lewis have won this one. Here's Mark Burdis. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecard. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Steve Ray, 98 to 93. Judge Marcus McDonald, 96 to 95. Judge Dave Harris at 98 to 93, the winner in the blue corner, Tom Sedgefield. Jim Saunders! The judges agreeing with us, Jeff Saunders getting a unanimous decision and, and moving a sizable step closer towards the British super lightweight title. Stephen Lewis giving him a